In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to pass the Part 107 exam and tell you what you should consider before investing your own time and money in the drone biz. First off, I think it's important to clarify the difference between drone registration and drone certification. First, the FAA required all drones to be registered. Then they nixed that requirement for non-commercial use in 2017. The FAA changed it up again, so now all drones must be registered. But in case this requirement changes again before you get to the end of this video, I've included a link below to the FAA website. Certification is a bit different. If you are a hobbyist and won't be using your drone for commercial purposes, you don't need to get certified to fly your drone. You do, however, need a great deal of common sense and some good insurance probably wouldn't hurt either. And maybe some decent counsel, depending on how you like to fly. Casey Neistat might be able to provide you with a good referral. We love you, Casey. But if you've laid awake at night thinking about all the money you could be pulling in with your drone doing jobs like these, then you must take the plunge and pass the Part 107 exam to get licensed to fly. Part 107 exam is a test and the FAA spends a great deal of time and effort to make it feel like one. You can't wing it. This means you're gonna to have to know all of the materials covered. Give yourself ample time to study and most importantly, make sure you have the best test preparation materials available to you. As I'm sure you've discovered, the landscape is littered with self-anointed experts and there are some decent study programs out there, but you have to cobble things together. But my time and money are valuable. And given the $150 investment in the FAA exam and the money I spent on my drone, I was looking for a one-stop course that was gonna help me confidently pass the exam and help me grow as a drone pilot. So I purchased the Remote Pilot 101 course with Jason Shepard. Here are the five reasons why I think this is the best course. Number one, subject knowledge. Jason's been flying airplanes since he came out of the womb, and he runs a very successful flight school in Florida. He's also very experienced in the drone world. This is important because not everyone who teaches drone certification has a background in flight training. And not everyone who flies airplanes is familiar with the nuances of the drone world. And since the FAA likes to test your knowledge on both theory and real world examples, it's very important to know both. This is why you need an experienced teacher like Jason, who can advise you on what details to look out for as you study, as well as the best way to prepare. The Remote Pilot 101 mission is to help make sure you ace the Part 107 exam and become a safe and educated remote pilot in command. Number two, production value. The Remote Pilot 101 course does a brilliant job formatting the learning process through a user-friendly online testing platform and series of well-produced videos. At the end of each course section, there are quizzes to test your knowledge as you move along, as well as the final exam at the end of the course. This is key because there are some fairly complex portions of Part 107 that involve your understanding of things like weather and flight charts. Great test prep is not just about memorizing answers, it's understanding the material and grasping the context of every subject in the video. So even if the language changes on your FAA exam, which it very well could, you know the material and what the FAA is really asking you. Number three, supportive community. Just because this is an online video course doesn't mean you're on your own. In addition to the intuitive format and Jason's relatable teaching style, you're always invited to reach out to his team if you don't understand a topic. This means instead of glossing over important topics like METARs and TAFs, you can connect with Jason's team over email or chat to clarify anything that might be confusing to you. These guys want you to do well, and your relationship with Remote Pilot 101 continues beyond your exam, which brings me to number four, lifetime access. The drone space is constantly evolving, and this means new laws and test questions on the Part 107 exam. Jason and his team are routinely updating the course videos based on direct feedback from the Remote Pilot 101 community. So you've got real-time data from the drone community that's been filtered through a knowledgeable teacher like Jason. That is huge. And the best part, the one-time price you pay for the course gets you lifetime access. So when you go to renew your Part 107 certification every two years, you've got an invaluable online course that grows with you. And finally, number five, the drone business. Jason's program provides you with important business resources. If you have post-exam questions about things like securing waivers when you land a gig, insurance when you fly, and general liability as it relates to 
just the registration of your drone. As Jason points out several times in the videos, becoming a commercial drone pilot is a serious commitment. The FAA doesn't take it lightly and neither should you. You're spending time, money, and taking on a great deal of responsibility when you put a bird in the air. In addition to this course, you should also pick up these manuals. I know some of you are readers and some of us prefer watching videos. I still recommend purchasing these supplemental guides because they will help bolster your study efforts and become part of your flight bag once you pass your test with flying colors and go on to make obscene amounts of money droning. I hope this video was helpful, but I know you may have other thoughts, questions, or comments from your own experience, so you know where to leave them. The drone business is booming, so get out there and get certified to fly. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.